Okay, uh, my name is Tazra Water from DBS AOS, and uh, my talk about uh, it's actually really exciting to talk after Kasahara san so, because uh, I'm okay with Docker. So, <laughs> uh, so my talk is about the uh, the workloads. So um, so workloads are um, basically you no know, portable. So we have Docker container, and then the other container technologies so tools are uh, now portable and we have CWL which is um, runnable in anywhere so uh, you know uh, we, don't, we basically don't need to do the git clone make and uh, it doesn't work and uh, google and stack overflow whatever so uh, it's so you can do everything you want so um, so we can run more clothes everywhere, and that means we have options. So, um, so you have your laptop, desktop computer, and you have a shared computing cluster, which mm, requires you to, uh, you know, install the, the Docker container with administrative. That's okay, but now we, we we also have a cloud platforms and with the, the different types of the instances. So you need to uh, choose one of them to run your workload. So uh, to define uh, to decide the 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 best uh, place to run your workload, you know you should know your, about your workloads in terms of the the metrics. So let. Uh, like a processing time of your workload and the, the, uh, the resource usage like uh, CPU memory usage and the block IO and network and with uh, relation to the inputs like uh, data size or file size and also the parameters to the, the workflow executions. So I created the CWL metrics uh, which collects the runtime metrics via, uh, via the Docker API and uh, analyze the metrics with uh, the workflow metadata extracted from the CWL workflow description. And uh, you can get the, the CWL metrics uh, system from the GitHub here. And uh, it's really easy to use the so wrap your tools in the Docker containers. So uh, CWL metrics uh, depends on the Docker container. So, I'm, so yeah, probably uh, we can fix it and uh, to use the singularity or any other kind of containers. But, and uh, you, you should write uh, the, your tools and the workloads in the CWL and then install the CWL metrics and execute the CWO2, which is the reference implementation for the CWO. And then you can use the CWL metrics command to fetch the, the summarized runtime metrics. And it's like this. And uh, so you can uh, capture the, all the almost all the, the information you will use to analyze the, the workflow metrics. And uh, yes, so we have comments. And uh, we have done the, the demonstration of the CWL metrics, uh, which I sub uh, uploaded the manuscript up to the preference server. And you can find uh, on the bio archive to search with the CWL hyphen metrics. And uh, we use the seven workloads uh, of the RNA C quantification and workloads. And we use the nine different samples, and uh, we use the six different AWS instances. And uh, it's so it can provide information like this. So we, uh, this is the the data from the high sub two string type workflow, uh, which executed on the different uh, six types of the ins instances with different size of the memory and the different uh, number of cores. And the, the x-axis shows that there's a different size of uh, samples require you the, the different uh, processing time. And you can also do the comparison of the workloads. And the, the left side uh, indicates that the, the processing time of the different workloads. And the, you know, the more, uh, right side, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven workloads, and then we have, you know, you can see the, the top part two is very slow uh, other than the different workloads. And the, the, the right hand side, you can see uh, the memory uh, requirements of the workloads. And you also can get the information like uh, the cost per lung of the workload. So uh, we have this system and then we can use this uh, for the resource prediction. So uh, during this hackathon, uh, I will work on the, the resource prediction stuff with uh, Miguel there. And uh, we're gonna uh, uh, improve the implementation. And also we have a plan to integrate with the provenance stuff, uh, which uh, waits a time. 
uh, which provides you about the, the details uh, of the tracking information of the workflow executions. Thank you very much. Thank you.